and my mamas, welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like I haven't done a video in a hot minute just because the world was ending and it's still ending. Um, but I feel like I wanted to get back to you guys as soon as possible. So here I am with my first video in a while. And of course, I wanted it to be Jersey Shore related because we just ended our fifth season, or I don't even know what season it was, but we just ended our season with the wedding and everything. So I just wanted to kind of talk about my favorite moments ever in Jersey Shore history because as you know, I did retire from the show. You know, I have to do something more positive and fun with my life. So I wanted to talk about my favorite Jersey Shore moments with you guys. So my first favorite moment, well I have a couple here. It's like I'm a, a, news, a news journalist. So I have my notepad and I wrote down my favorite moments and I'm sure there's a ton more, but these are just the, you know, the top ones that came to mind. And I wanted to start off with my, the punch in my face at Beachcombers. Oh, oh, hit her? This kid just hit her. So even though that was like a crazy, upsetting, scary, terrifying moment for me, especially to this day when I think back about it, um, you know, being fully punched in the face by a dude wasn't great. It's not my greatest memory, but the reason why it's one of my favorite memories in Jersey Shore history and the show is because it really brought us together as a family. Where the f on a kid's hit a f girl, bro? <laughs> well, that kid is never gonna be able to walk this earth again because he's known as punching a girl in the face. At that time, you know, we were there for only like a couple weeks and I just feel like I wasn't really fitting in with anybody because I was like the huge partier, I wanted to go out and I was very like, you know, just always wanting to do things when it comes to partying and drinking and going on the boardwalk. And everyone wanted to like go to the gym and relax. I'm like, this is not what you do down the shore. So, um, yeah, I just felt like I wasn't fitting in with anybody. They weren't on my party vibe. So once the punch in the face happened, I was like, oh, these people actually like me. Like they want to be my friends, so fun. So it kind of brought us together as a family and like cast wise. Um, and I also cherish that moment, I guess, because um, it made everyone tune into the show because they were like, holy shit, a little girl just got hit in the face by a grown dude at a bar. What is this show? I need to watch it. So I feel like it put our show on the map as well. Um, because us being orange and partying and fist pumping wasn't enough. So that is one of my favorite moments. And even though it's scary and traumatizing, I feel like it was great for us as roomies. So my next favorite moment in Jersey Shore history is obviously, where's the beach? So where's the beach? An iconic moment in reality history. And I'm so glad that I was able to black out and provide you entertainment. Um, honestly, I still don't remember what happened to this day. All I remember is we were partying at Karma till like five o'clock in the morning. I probably stayed up till like eight o'clock with Ron. And then we had to be at work at 10.30 at the t-shirt shop. So I already knew I was gonna die. And you know when you like party all night then you have to wake up and then go to work and like be a normal human being. It just doesn't work. Like you're tired, you're hungover, you feel like you want to throw up, like you need a mimosa to feel better. So once I got to work, I was like, I'm dying. It was like 80 degrees in the shop and you know, Danny wanted me to actually do work and at the time I was like, I'm not working, like I just want to party. So I ended up stealing beers from, I don't even know where I got the beers. Oh, it was probably in Danny's fridge because they, you know, they used to drink after work. I stole beers and I ran into the bathroom and started chugging them because I was like, I just need to keep this party going because I'm going to not survive. Like I'm gonna pass away. So then I ended up drinking and then I started to get drunk again and I'm like on, you know, 20 minutes of sleep. So then I was like, I don't feel like working because now I'm drunk so I'm gonna run down to the bar and I'm gonna bar hop by myself. So then I went to EJ's and I took shots and I went to another beachcomber bar and I took shots. Next thing I know, she is darting. Where's she going? I'm like, yeah. Snooks? Where is she? 
Nicole! I just want to go to the beach. Where's the beach? I'm so annoyed. Where's the beach? Right there. Where else would it be? Oh my god, I want to go to the beach so bad. Love you, bye. So basically, it was a spiral day, and this was before we called our days spirals, like the spiral squad. So that was like a spiral, meatball, crazy day. Hung over, I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna keep the party going, because I'm gonna pass. And um, yeah, I blacked out at some point, and then all of a sudden, I'm waking up in a bar cell, or um, a bar cell, a jail cell, and I'm on like a concrete floor, and there's like dirt everywhere, and I'm like, what is going on? I was looking for the cameras, I was looking for the producers, I was like, where's the producers? Why did they leave me? Because I felt like they were like my parents. And I'm like, I'm alone, what the hell happened? Did I hurt somebody? I had no idea. What a mess. But then, when I woke up, the cops were very nice, and they took me out of the cell, and they gave me water and donuts, and I said, what happened? And they were like, oh, you tried to hit an officer, so we had to arrest you. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, my dad's gonna kill me. So then I stayed there for like a couple hours, and then once the roommates picked me up, I thought it was the next day, and I was still drunk. So I was like, can we go to Denny's? I was like, I need breakfast. I thought it was the next morning. I was like, I need breakfast, let's go get Denny's. Like, I need pancakes, and then I need to take a long nap. And they were like, Nicole, it's only like four hours later. I was like, oh. And then when I got home, everyone was getting ready to go to Karma. I was like, I can't do this. So um, usually the producers obviously want us all to go out together and party and stuff like that. But that was the one time where the producers were like, you can sit this one out. Like, you just got arrested, and you were drinking for two days straight. Go to bed. So, it was definitely um, a memorable experience for me being arrested for the first time for disorderly conduct because I was drunk. Um, and you know what? I don't regret it. I thought it was a great time and all the fans, I feel like you guys love that memory. And anytime, to this day still, when you guys go to the beach, you're screaming, where's the beach and falling? Um, so I'm really glad that I made, I made that moment for all of you. I'm a good person. So obviously, meeting my hubby Gianni um, is like my top moment. I'm gonna say it's my number one moment, obviously, because I love my family and my babies, and I always wanted tan babies, and a hot tan man, and I found him at Karma named Bernard, and it's my favorite moment. My next favorite moment is road tripping with JWoww to Miami. So this was our second season. We thought we were only gonna do like one season and then move on, kind of like real world, you know, like different cast or whatever. So I didn't expect to go back. Like I went back to school and I was trying to be a vet tech. Then they were like, all right, we're gonna do another season in Miami. And I was like, oh shit. So they ended up having me and Jenny road trip from Jersey all the way to Miami. And it took like four days. But it was so much fun because me and Jenny, you know, we were really good friends, but we weren't like best friend sisters yet. So I feel like that trip bonded us to um, have the friendship that, and sisterhood that we have today. So the road trip was amazing. We stopped in all these random places. We stayed in like these scary motels and we went to random bars like in the middle of nowhere. And it was just the funnest time ever. And I remember you guys saw on one of the episodes, we stopped at like a dude ranch bar and there was all cowboys there, and it was just us and like two other people. And then the guy started fist pumping, and then we got scared because we thought he was possessed by a demon. So, you know, all of those memories I will always remember because it was literally like the best road trip ever with Jenny. So that was fun. Like I said, I feel like there's so many memories that I could talk about, like my favorite ones. But my other, my last favorite moment that I have from Jersey Shore is bringing my meatball, Dina, to the show. So it was always just, or well, we had Angelina for two seasons, and then we kept filming seasons, but it was only seven of us, and it's supposed to be eight people in the house. So I was like, I really want to bring Dina, because she's my meatball, she's just like me, she's gonna bring like, you know, another fun element to the house, and it's just gonna be crazy. I'm in Seaside, bitch! I'm nervous, I'm excited, and I just can't wait to like, blow the speakers off this house. <laughs> So I was able to bring Dina into season three and everybody loved her of course because she's amazing and the sweetest ever and I feel like Dina made our family whole 
because you know we were seven, like we needed another roomie. So me bringing Dina to season three of Jersey Shore was definitely one of my favorite moments because obviously she's my meatball and we're like the same person and we're hot messes. And to this day, even though we're moms, we're still hot messes. Um, so hopefully in the future, we could do a meatball show because I am a free agent. Well, not really, but um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite moments in Jersey Shore history. I know there's a lot more. Maybe we'll do a part two because there's so many other memories I can think of. Um, but I definitely wanted to do this video because you guys know that I am done filming Jersey Shore and news just broke, I feel, a couple weeks ago that the roomies are filming another season of Jersey Shore. I feel like they're starting soon. So you guys are in for a really good season. I'm gonna be watching. You guys better be watching because I know I read comments saying, well, I'm not gonna watch Jersey Shore if Snooki's not a part of it. No, all of us bring a certain dynamic to the show. And just because I'm not gonna be there, you still have to um, you know, support my roomies because I'm gonna be watching and I'm so proud of all my roomies and I love them and they'll be my family forever. Just personally for me, I can't deal with the freaking drama anymore. So I am out, but you guys have to watch the new season of Jersey Shore, which is airing. I'm sure it's gonna be definitely different because I'm not there, but I'm excited to see how different it's gonna be. And I love my roomies and I'm gonna support them forever. So congratulations to my roomies. I love you always. Um, and I'll always love everyone when it comes to um, 495. That's the production company who shoots Jersey Shore. You guys are amazing. And everyone at MTV who I've been working with for years, you guys are amazing. And I'm not done with reality TV. I still wanna do other things. So I'm actually, I actually have like five shows that I'm trying to get MTV to do. We'll see. But either way, I'm not done with reality TV. You are still going to see me, uh, but just not on Jersey Shore because I can't handle that shit anymore. It's cray cray. So I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy times. Wear your masks, social distance, and I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. And please watch the next season of Jersey Shore. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Mwah.